Hi peoples! It's another creative day because I got up before 11am. Boop, boop, boop. I really wish my camera was there. I'm really scared my camera's gonna fall down. <laughs> oh my god. Start record now. What are we doing? <clears throat> Alright, so something that I'm pretty keen to share is how we can use virtual reality softwares and my camera's shaking, don't fall over. I know we're good. How we can use VR software to draw and to create video content and photo content and images and thus making some kind of artworks that you could use for all kinds of uses. Um, but the idea that using VR in a way to like speed up that creative process and perhaps avoid using 3D modeling software and then having to wait ages for rendering times. In terms of art, one of the first virtual reality softwares that people tend to use is Google Tilt Brush. And I've seen little kids like dive into the software and just roll with it and create amazing um, drawings and animations because some of the brushes are animated. So you've got like sparkly lights, so you've got rainbows. And you've even got this um, capability to have waves so like a wave line, and then basically, probably shouldn't use a vaporizer, but have a wave line where when you've got the audio, it'll like automatically um, detect waves of sound. So as a bit of a challenge for myself and just to put out some creative and productive energies as it's cold here in England, like it's literally sleeting with snow today, which is kind of cool. Um, but to actually get productive and making some, making the most of our days, let's just say. Because creative people, we can be emotional and we're feeling a bit lonely and that's why I'm talking to a camera and in a room talking to myself, which I love. So let's dive in to the latest thing that I did. <laughs> The project that I've started recently is called Tasty Loops and it's just like a platform where we can create video content and then be able to share it to audio producers or musicians or anyone that wants some kind of video content to use for their social media content or for whatever. And my kind of theory is that we can use virtual reality softwares to create video content really quickly and thus creating a library of all different kinds of creative videos that people can use for their projects. So I'm going to try and start a daily making of a loop and just share a bit of the process with you and maybe we can learn a bit from each other with virtual reality artists and video artists and then also like the whole music side and the audio industry and what you guys need for your videos. Um, so today is Day number one. I don't know why I did zero. Day number one. One. <laughs> so let's have a look and see this flashing image. It's going to give me issues. All right. So this is Google Tilt Brush, which is just a super fun um, software that you can use to draw. And I just remember the first time that I went in there, like you can literally draw like stars over your face and then snow and it can like fall on your face in VR and it's just the most amazing, amazing feeling. The concept is that you have a palette on one hand and then you can use, um, you can draw with your right hand or you could probably flip it if you're left handed. And I just look at that, like you can literally draw like 3D objects with your brush. And you can like draw it all around you as well, which is really fun. So I'm just figuring out what brush to use. Um, the duct tape one is pretty cool because it's got like, it does look like a 3D object and it's got um, reflection so it's sensitive to the light in the environment so you can get that sense of shadow and shape opposed to some brushes which have, like they're not lit at all by the environment lighting so they look very, um, like there's no depth um, and there's no shadow. So he's looking pretty cool. So I'm just going to straighten it a little bit. I recorded myself on the webcam as well. It looks really funny. I've got like these gloves now because like, I like these using these gloves because they keep my hands warm when I'm doing stuff. So 
in this one I want to make like a cityscape and to be honest like I haven't played around in this um, software for a while so there's probably different stuff that I would do like even tomorrow's drawing I'm gonna approach it like way differently because um because what I'm finding like in video content and like with all kinds of paintings and drawings like we love seeing the detail um, we love seeing like how things are drawn and looking at all the different textures and line work within a drawing so what I do in this video is I basically I approach it with quite like a quick fix um, quick production in mind so I make this building I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit I put some little window lines on it and then I go straight away into copying and pasting the building because I'm like I want it to be like a road we got all these different um, office blocks or apartment blocks and you're just driving down this road but then like later on I realized like the buildings themselves are kind of boring so I start drawing lines around the outside so outlines and it just looks so much better and then I'm like damn I should have done that at the very beginning and then copy and pasted everything and um, duplicated it in the scene so I'm gonna put way more detail in next time before I start kind of smashing out loads of objects in the scene that's like a 3d brush which is really cool so you can like point make a 3d object in the space so now I'm just like wondering what to do with the road and to be honest like I'm not getting really inspired by this um, piece in itself and then I get distracted by this image which I really want to make instead of this piece but then I'm like I've got this far anyway I might as well film it oh and put some music on so here we are like oh I'll probably go back a little tad so in tilt brush they have created a new functionality where you can create a camera path tool so before if you wanted to film something you'd literally have to hold your controller and like really carefully like imagine like this is a camera like really carefully probably with both hands move the camera tool across the scene um at one point i remember putting my controller on a chair so i could literally like use the chair a rolling chair to like move this the camera and also like one of my friends you said he used to use a gimbal to hold his controller so it was like really smooth and then film like that but now they've got path tools so with the camera you can create dot points on your path so yeah you can see them doing the line there break it and then this is the camera which will then follow that path so just adjust it a little bit and when you hit play it will just follow that line that I've made so there you can see the camera is following along the path tool and like I just find this capability of creating video content like so powerful it's going really fast but I kind of like it it's kind of like we're speeding through the city so I do that I move the wave line on its side to give more of we can see more of the wave action because before it was actually like vertical so it just looked like one straight line from this distance but now we can see that we can see like doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that piece. And then I do a um, a vertical one for stories as well. So you can use on Instagram stories or um, any kind of social media where you want like a vertical rectangle. And like literally, like the time it takes for that camera to move to the end of the path, that's the time that it's recording and then exporting that video. So imagine doing something like that in a software called, like a software, for example, Blender. And then having to render out each frame that could take ages so that's kind of like my theory like that VR tools can be used for really quick making of videos and to be honest like I've had a bit of experience in these softwares but there's like so much more for me to learn and different styles for me to try out that's why I'm like let's do a project like every day and try out different styles and like not be limited to one kind of artwork or one kind of software Let's play around and see what we can make in these softwares and then um, share these videos so people can use them for their audio. Let's plan. So yeah, I'll show you um, what the video looks like on its own. So I think this is the first one I did. Woo! Let's see. 
it's so fast I'd really love to see this with like heaps more detail like balconies or um, maybe even like people in the windows like little there's just so, so much there's just so much you could do like sci-fi vehicles flying around like maybe stars doing stuff so yeah we need more detail 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 here's the vertical one which obviously is oh, I got a stiff leg I can't turn that's gonna look sick I'm gonna edit that like I might just edit it now like literally what, what I do is I use um, Premiere Pro so part of the Adobe suite and like Premiere Pro is great for doing more advanced stuff and doing creating videos and adding audio to it um, but I'm really getting into um, editing stuff on my phone I just have a bit of a missing link where I need to add audio to videos um, so I'm going to try and figure out a few solutions for everyone to use on your phone when people don't have access to a computer um, so here's in Premiere Pro and basically I have a template set up for um, all different projects that I work on and we've got different social sizes so we've got square and then we've got like a vertical rectangle and all you do is shove it in and then I'm going to rotate him 90 is it? yeah but not that way 180 oh god we're into the numbers game again let's just do this what's that? 270? Is that right? That looks pretty good. So I've just rotated him up and now we've got a vertical video which has like way different effect to that um, standard screen size rectangle. I love it. Like it's simple, it's nice but there's so much more that I could do on this so tomorrow I'm gonna look at detail, detail, detail and then replicating for like a I call it like a road, like a journey video, so we're traveling down some kind of path. But I think that looks pretty cool. And then what I'll do is I'll use a editing app on my phone. One that I use at the moment is called Prequel, which is pretty cool. Don't pay for it, you don't need it, just use the free version. And what I can do is like add crazy color effects and filters to my video. Um, just like for someone that was doing video stuff like in 2009 there's just so much more capability that we can do like using um apps on your phone just to create all different kinds of filters and effects and transitions and even just stuff like having snow fall down like you would have had to go into like um after effects and like create snow particles and stuff to make those kind of effects whereas on this i can literally just add an effect in two seconds and then export it out and then I've got my video and then I can edit it and crop it and trim it and then post it I think this is a crazy cool time for making videos so join me on this journey of making stuff every day hold me accountable I've said this before that I do stuff every day and it, it didn't happen so you know keep on it keep on me to really getting it done <laughs> but I hope you have a good day and I'll catch you later bye